Making a task and calling it something has always been easy with hotkeys, but with the task plugin, it's actually been made even easier, and I've only just found this recently, but you can add uh, a scheduled date, and then tomorrow, we're going to add a due date, and then Sunday, then we're gonna call it high priority. It's gonna be recurring, and we wanna say every day, enter, enter, and it's already done, it's added in, it's so easy. This is my extended brain template, which I spoke about in a previous video, but that uses data view queries, whereas this uses task queries and data view queries. Because they don't conflict, they can work together. There are lots of advantages of using the task plugin instead of data view to query tasks. The first one being the simple language it's used. It doesn't use data view, JavaScript, or anything like that. It's very simple, sort by priority, sort by due, sort by scheduled, scheduled after that date, and scheduled before that date. The other advantage is you can customize what the query looks like. So you can see here, I've customized it so that this is just showing the link, or you could show the backlink, you could show a short version, it's entirely up to you. You can see the total amount of tasks at the bottom of the query as well, which is quite nice, data view doesn't have that. But one of the biggest advantages I find is the edit button. When you click on the pen, it brings up the task and you don't have to go back to where the page is. And then you can edit the task without needing to navigate back to the page. You can add priorities, add recurrence, add any sort of due date, schedule date, start date, all inside of here using what I would call natural language processing. So by typing today, it's brought in today's date into the start value and then I can apply that to the task and now it's added that into the task. I've changed the schedule date of this task by going in and just typing in backspace and then eight or backspace nine, whatever you want. So it doesn't have to be through the auto select. And now you can see it showing up as a task in my daily log, in my daily notes page, but also showing up in my task inbox query results. Now, if I complete it in the query result, it's going to disappear because it's now done. It's ticked the task off, added a completion date, but because it's recurring, you can see with the emoji, it's added another one, the next recurrence above the task. And something the task plugin also does is when you complete a task outside of a query result, it also adds that tick box. Whereas in data view, it doesn't add the tick box completion when you tick something outside of the data view query. Going into the next daily note, the 26th, you can see there are a lot more tasks in here and it's actually sorting the tasks via priority first. So we've got priority, high priority at the top, low priority at the bottom, and every other task is just given a normal priority, which is quite nice. You don't have to add a priority to every single task. It's just if something is sort of, yeah, it's, it's a task, but I don't really need to do it, just add a low priority. So it's sorting by priority first, then by due, then by scheduled. So underneath the high priority task, we have the task that is due soon. It's not soon for today, but you know what I mean in this example template. Inside of the book dashboard, which is in the original template, I'm actually using a task query instead of a data view query. So I'm looking for tags, include book. So it's looking for the book tag. And I'm also sorting by scheduled and I'm reversing the order. So I don't need to do ascending or descending. I just reverse the order that it's showing and I'm still limiting it to 10 results. Inside of the business dashboard, I'm still using the data view queries for the projects, but in the actions, I'm actually using a task query. So edit, you can see not done, tags includes business. You may also notice that the question query is also in a task query, but it still has the grouping because there are grouping features. So not done, tags include question, group by file name. In each project page, so this business project example one, I'm still using the task query at the top. So we're using the business project one example, sorted and finding tasks not done inside this page. But to my understanding at the moment, there is no way to find related actions, which is where I can use the data view query to still find those related actions. In the daily note template, I still want it to show yesterday, today, and tomorrow's dates at the top linked but I also want the task inbox to be specific to that day. And you can do that inside the task inbox. I am still using the templater community plugin, but it's inside of a task query instead of a data view query. So I can combine the two plugins together. Now talking about combining plugins, at the moment we're talking about the Obsidian tasks plugin, just tasks, but the natural language dates plugin is also very useful for trying to manage the dates. If I go into the business project example and I want to add something for in two weeks, I can use the at symbol in two and then go down to weeks and it's added two weeks onto today. You can change the formatting, but I'm gonna keep it the same because it makes all the querying later on much easier. You can change the start day of the week, and for me, it's Monday. You can add other hotkey formatting settings, which I don't change. You can enable the date also suggests, which is what you saw the drop down menu as. And I've disabled add dates as link because I don't want them to be in the link when I add them to the task. 
because when the task appears in the query, we already have the link, so I don't need the link in there twice. If we then combine the tasks plugin and the natural language dates plugin with the quick add plugin, it means that we can add tasks with any date at any time with any information at the push of a hotkey. And looking in my hotkeys, you can see I've got a quick add hotkey for a capture to daily note, and that's control shift D. At the moment, this template only has three daily notes that are in the past, but if I use control shift D, it brings up a prompt window and I'm going to say today for the scheduled date. Due date in three days, which is the natural language dates bit. It's just a new task and I want it to be a medium priority. And you can see what it's done is it's created a new daily note because it's today's daily note. And then at the bottom of daily log, it's added in the new task with the date scheduled today. It's a medium priority and it's added the due date for in three days. So it's added three to the 15th because that's the day I'm recording. You can see down there, 15, nine. So control shift D, today, tomorrow, another new task, high priority, it's now added it at the top of my daily log. And because these are just tasks, they're going to appear in the task inbox query. This extended brain template vault is linked in the description with the other three previous versions and this tasks version. All of this is set up in the template and this is just the one queue. You can set up more queues with more hotkeys if you want, but you can see I've got the task name, that's one trigger. We've got the schedule date, another trigger. And then we have the due date as the other trigger with the priority as a, another value trigger. All being inserted after the daily log heading, which is in the daily note, which has been created through the daily notes template. And this is just one example of a hotkey you could use with quick add. So we've got data view, natural language dates, quick add, tasks, and templator all working together to create this task management system where you just push a hotkey and add in what you're told. If you're interested to see how this all works inside of my vault, I've got a link in the description to my public vault, which has basically all of my notes minus about 20 files. And I've got a series going on called Vaultcraft, which is where I add, take, explore, expand my vault and show you how I'm doing it, why I'm doing it, and all the data view queries and everything else that I'm adding into the vault as I use the tool. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below or join the Discord because YouTube doesn't always mention me when you comment something, so Discord is probably more reliable.